What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, compound messages, uh, transmission, and uh, some triggered transmission types. Um, some things to be aware of. I'm going to go through a little bit of uh, simple configuration that was uh, that I made slash set up. Um, I need to put this 500k. I got them all connected. Anyways, um, so I have a transmitted channel. We got the OBD2 uh, stuff. I've kind of changed it up a little bit just to make sure make it a little bit easier to understand. Uh, based on what the default OBD2 uh, configuration setup is. Uh, our number one compound message, uh, we're going to have a 101, number two for 102, three for 103, four for 104, you know, and so and so forth, up to 106, right? I uh, bring that up, and these numbers come in, come in importance uh, when we start getting into this triggered situation. Uh, our trigger channel is a receive value. That receive value is coming from this message here that I am sending at base ID 123. It's just the first byte in the message. Uh, just kind of raw equals actual scenario. Um, on the left-hand side of my screen, I have a I have my Linux machine running, and it is running the... Um, uh, it's a socket can. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm very, very um, comfortable in Linux, and uh, it's very potent and powerful for CAN bus communications. Um, on the right side of the on the right side of this sc of this screen captured window here, you will see the messages uh, that are either sent or received, and then you'll also see what messages I'm sending over here on the left pane of the screen. So, for instance, I sent one, two, three. Uh, the base address one two three uh, data is zero zero. We get our message on the right side of the screen too. Um, so I'm going to set the trigger value to one, and notice we have a message response of one oh one. All right, so I'll do the same thing for two, and now we've get our one oh two. Um, one thing that I, I'm showing you this because you have to be aware if you're doing triggered channels. Um, if it's a simple message type, you have it'll be like the one will trigger it, right? Um, so you can go like you use a user condition, the zero one, right? If you're doing this in a, in a more, uh, advanced way. You're going to need to use a counter, uh, for the compound side of things. Uh, if you don't have a C18 series or 18 series dash, right? Uh, but it is something to be aware of, um, associated with the trigger channels. The trigger channel has to align itself with the compound message number that you're trying to send. So anyways, um, I hope this helps understand a little bit about the trigger communications. Most people don't use it. Most people don't have a real reason to use it. But if you do, you need to be aware of the circumstances associated with it if you are doing something in a compound nature. Um, again, this is probably going to fall over the heads of most people, um, but it is something to be aware of. And I hope it, uh, hope it at least helps one person out there. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.